Before we take a break, we need to talk about a couple other things. Two players in particular who have captured the imagination of the Midwest. <laughs> oh, is Pittsburgh the Midwest? Who's to say? Conflicting answers on that. Let us know. Baseballbarbercast at gmail.com. Sax boy said uh, kind of. <laughs> Sax boy said kind of. Um, who would you like to talk about first? Rowdy Telez or Reese Hines? Two big old boys, baby. A lot of power in the house. Let's start with Reese Hines, who came up this week and made his major league debut and ripped long balls away in both of his first two games. Jordan Schusterman, Reese Hines has been on your radar for quite some time. I would say the Reese Hines story begins for in all intent and purposes, right? Like at the 2018 home run derby, where if you watch the home run derby, you know that in between the major league boys, the high school guys do their own little derby during the ad break. The top two guys, they do the home run derby. Like the full thing is a couple days before they have the finalists compete on the night of the MLB Homer Derby. And that year, the high school finalists, I believe, were Reese Hines and Bobby Witt Jr. Um, Bobby Witt Jr. is someone you knew about before this week. Chances are Reese Hines is not someone you knew about before this week. So Jordan, uh, with yeah. your uh, baseball development minor league draft dork brain, can you please uh, sure. Reese Hines explain everybody? Oh, uh, well, the first thing as we open up his baseball reference page here, Jake, is uh, September 5th. September fifth yeah. birthday for Reese Hines, so we love that. Uh, so you got a, you got a friend now, five years younger than you, of course, but um, that's very exciting. But yeah, so that was you know the summer of twenty eighteen. That's going into his senior year, and Reese Hines was, but that was what he was known as. I, I can hit the ball far. You know, he was considered a you know a possible top few round pick, but he was not a polished player in the way that Bobby Wood Jr. obviously was because then he goes second overall. Now, Reese Hines ends up going in the second round to the Reds. The Reds have long loved players with ridiculous tools. We, and we'll get to the comparison people are already making um, in a second here, but it was just kind of a slow climb. You know, when you draft Reese Hines, it's going to take, it's going to take some time. You're, you're going to take some lumps. And obviously too, anyone drafted in 2019 and then immediately has to not have a season in 2020. That obviously slows your development. But it had been a slow climb, striking out a ton, hitting a bunch of home runs. And last year, but it wasn't quite getting there. He was striking out too much to really be hitting like 20, 30 home runs a year until last year when in double A, he seemed to turn a corner. Had an 866 OPS in double A, but it was still a lot of strikeouts and the defense wasn't great in the outfield. It wasn't a third baseman anymore. And it was like, all right, well, I don't know if he, I, I was like, I'm not sure the Reds are going to protect him from the rule five draft. He was eligible to be rule five if they didn't add him to the 40 man. And I was like, I don't know if Reese Hines is ready to contribute to the big leagues next year. Like, I don't think they're going to protect him, but they did. And I was like, okay, so the Reds clearly still do believe in him. Fast forward to him getting called out two days ago. And I hadn't really followed him this year. And I was like, oh, Reese Hines, like presumably he's like been kind of making the steps forward in triple A. Not the case. Reese Hines was hitting 216 with a 36% strikeout rate in AAA over 77 games. He hadn't really been making the adjustments, but as we just talked about a few days ago, the Reds have been so desperate for any semblance of right-handed impact that they were like, screw it. Like, we got to try something different. This kid's awesome. He's done everything we could have asked him to, even though he hasn't necessarily made all the adjustments. This is the kind of guy that can give you a jolt, right? Maybe it's not going to last all the way through the season, and maybe he is going to get exposed at some point, but he couldn't have gone any better. He's the first player in Major League history to have five extra base hits over his first two games. A very basic stat that kind of blew my mind when Sarah Langs tweeted it out. And it's not just two home runs. It's two 450-foot home runs. You know, he's already hitting balls farther than, than we've seen most guys all season, but that's been Reese Hines all along. And so for him to kind of have this moment, someone who, by all accounts, is, is just an incredible person off the field, incredible teammate, someone who has kind of taken his lumps all the way through the minor leagues, but also has has done quite a, enough to put himself in position to be considered here. It, it's a great story. And, you know, the hot streaks like this, you got to appreciate them while they happen, even over two games. It's the kind of pit player that just statistically, you look at his record, he pitchers are going to start attacking him very specifically very soon, and he's going to start striking out a bunch. Hope I'm wrong. That's just what fact that's just what logic and history tells me uh, that doesn't mean i can't enjoy it now if he can defy that obviously that's great if he can have an an aquino-esque run over the next few weeks that would be mm. amazing the reds certainly need it um 
but yeah, I think the 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 Aquino comps are both apt, but also funny because Aquino in 19, he was destroying AAA. Like it was to the point, and he was older, but it was to the point where it was like, well, we can't, we have to call this guy up. And then of course he has this all-time juice ball, you know, heroics over these next few weeks. I don't know if that's in store for Reese Hines here, but it's one of those things where we've talked about this before. He's already done what they needed him to do. You know, like what he's been able to do over these last few days and kind of re-energize the clubhouse, re-energize the lineup against the poopy Rockies. Like it's the stage you want to give him. That's fine. It's already been a success and he gets to be a big leaguer forever, which, you know, at times over his journey, it was not obvious that Reese Hines was going to make the major leagues. And so I think that that in and of itself is exciting. And uh, we'll, we'll see what happens next. When he connects, the ball certainly goes very far.